Tomorrow marks 20 years since the attack on the USS Cole. Al-Qaeda terrorists rammed the boat with explosives in the Gulf of Yemen shortly after a refueling stop. 17 sailors died and 39 more were wounded. The blast inflicted catastrophic damage. If not for the heroic efforts of the crew, the ship would have sunk. Mona Gunn lost her son Sharon that day. He was a 22-year-old seaman recruit, a Kentsville High School grad. He wanted to serve in the Navy as his father did. Every year, Mona Gunn and her family remind the nation of the terror attack that happened 10 months prior to 9-11. Mona told me there is a dash on the gross gravestone marking the year of Sharon's birth and the day of his death. She says her family prefers to remember the dash symbolizing the life he lived before his death. Tomorrow, she is requesting the community and nation pause to remember the sacrifice of all who died that day. The Chief of Naval Operations have put a memo out to all of the Navy, the entire Navy, to pause at 11.18 on Monday, October 12, 2020, for the 17 sailors who were killed in the attack on the USS Cole that happened in Yemen at 11.18, October 12, 2000. And of course, we would love the public to stop what you're doing on Monday at 11.18 and just pause. Those names will be read at Pier Side on Pier 12. And while those names are being read at 11.18, Please pause and think about those 17 sailors, those 39 injured sailors, and that former crew who comes back every year for our anniversary because they live, they relive that day just like Gold Star famous. Today, the Cole is a frontline guided missile destroyer still home ported here in Norfolk. The deck of the Coles mess line features 17 brass stars. The commander says every morning, sailors shine the stars as a tribute to those who made the ultimate sacrifice. Tomorrow, News 3 will be pierside for the ceremonies as we remember the USS Cole.